we are counting down to the next to next week's historic SpaceX launch in coverage we're calling Launch America. This will be the first liftoff of American astronauts from U.S. soil since 2011. Exactly one week from today, Elon Musk's SpaceX will take two NASA astronauts to the International Space Station. This marks the dawn of a new era in space travel, the commercial age. Our Mark Strassman introduces us to the astronauts who will be on this mission. Doug Hurley. Their introduction deserved to be splashy. Bob Behnken. Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley are SpaceX's inaugural crew. They'll launch on the company's reusable rocket, the Falcon 9, and command the maiden voyage of its new spacecraft, the Crew Dragon, all the way to the space station. Both men flew on space shuttles. Both have traveled twice before to the space station. Hurley piloted Atlantis there in 2011. Roger roll, Atlantis. Final flight of the shuttle program. And you didn't know whether you'd fly again or for whom? I, I wasn't sure I wanted to fly again, to be quite honest with you. You're a NASA astronaut about to step into a SpaceX capsule. It's completely different than what you would have ever imagined yourself doing. Hurley, now 53, grew up in upstate New York. He was an athletic kid who went to Tulane. Colonel Hurley is also a retired Marine and a flight test pilot. Behnken is 49, born and raised near St. Louis. He has a Ph.D. in mechanical engineering from Caltech. In the Air Force, Colonel Behnken was a flight test engineer. Both joined NASA in 2000. They've been friends for two decades. i got to believe that's a help. It absolutely right. is a help. I think we're way past the polite stage in our relationship. <laughs> I'm not looking for romance from Doug. I'm not looking for surprises in our relationship. He's predictable in a way that uh, over 20 years I've, uh, I've built a, a model for him and I can tell you what he's going to say as we go forward and he can tell you what I'm going to do based on just a hearing the tone of my voice or uh, seeing the look on my face sort of a thing. You know, one characteristic I think we have uh, in spades is we don't quit. We don't give up and uh, we like a big challenge and by gosh, we, we certainly got one. They both met their wives in the NASA astronaut class of 2000. Behnken married Megan MacArthur. Hurley married Karen Nyberg. They're great guys, <laughs> period. <laughs> Obviously, we think so. Yeah, we hit the jackpot. <laughs> in 2009, MacArthur's robotic skills helped prolong the life of the Hubble Space Telescope. She and Behnken have a six-year-old son, Theodore. We just try to talk to him as normally as possible about, you know, this is daddy's job, this is mommy's job, dad's going to go and, and launch on a rocket and go to space station so that it's just kind of a normal thing for him to absorb. Nyberg, Hurley's wife, has spent 180 days in space including two trips to the space station. Did you and your wife leave little notes for each other? <laughs> we should have. <laughs> yeah, we should have. So apparently her hair is still up there. I get reports all the time. She's got long blonde hair, and they are still finding it. The filter's up there. So my wife also does what I do for a living. It's much, much harder for me to BS her about certain aspects of the game, <laughs> all right? We have the same problem. Yeah. With what is that like to be married to other astronauts and launching into this new era of space exploration. The biggest thing is we know how they're going to feel on launch day. And it is way harder on them to watch somebody that you care for get on a rocket and go fly than it is for the two guys on the rocket. It's a tough, tough job to be the one watching. On launch day, Hurley's son Jack will be watching. He drew this picture of his father's spaceship. He hasn't talked about being scared or nervous. He's talked about how proud he is of his dad. I don't want to talk about being scared or nervous either and have him pick up on that. They had all rather focused on potential rewards for America as a spacefaring country and as astronaut dads. I think the thing I'm most looking forward to is being able to share this experience with my son. This will be something completely new for him, but to talk to him from space and to talk to him about the mission after I come back, I'm just excited for him to be able to see it with his own eyes and experience it. Behnken and Hurley get here to Kennedy Space Center this afternoon. They've both been in quarantine since last Wednesday. And both 10-year-old Jack and 6-year-old Theodore will also be here to watch their dads launch in person. And that should give them a new appreciation from what dad and mom do for a living. Anthony?
Yeah, wow, Mark, what a great story. What a great story the two of them have together, the four of them, really, when you include the wives and the whole family. We wish them all the best. Thank you, Mark. Great, great, great story. We'll continue to count down to the SpaceX launch on Wednesday, May 27th, right here on CBS This Morning. Next week, we'll talk to NASA astronaut Christopher Cassidy, who is on the International Space Station waiting to greet the SpaceX crew when they arrive.